name is Bookie Youssef and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can use a differentiated background within Jamboard to stretch and support the thinking of your learners. So if we go first into Google Draw, what we'll do is we will create a Venn diagram. So go to Insert, select Shapes, and we're going to go with a circle. Make sure that the circle you create is um, large enough to go on the screen. If you highlight the color, fill color, we'll set it to transparent. So copy and paste that. Control C, Control V to create your Venn diagram. Now, in order to give this a title so that the students can actually see what the learning activity is about, we'll just go to text box and we'll say compare and contrast. You can compare and contrast two processes. In this case, it will be osmosis and diffusion. It doesn't matter what it is, so long as the students can actually compare it. Okay, so let's just make that now. If you want to um, differentiate this, what you can actually do is go to Edit, select all, and then edit, copy. You can then go on to another new, if you just have a new drawing, okay? Right click, change the background to a white background. So it's nice and plain. Go to edit, paste. So you've got your original diagram and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to copy one of those circles and actually create a trio so that we've got more of a challenge there. And we could say compare and contrast osmosis, comma, diffusion and active transport. So this is just taking the challenge up a little bit, getting your students to really think about how these three processes are similar and how they are different to each other. Now, in order to actually incorporate it into Jamboard, you just go to File, Download, and we like to just download it as a JPEG. So I'll save that one first. And I'll save this one as well. I'm going to call this then Diagram, so we can actually recognize both of those documents from each other. File, download, JPEG. So now we have both of those documents that we can now incorporate into Jamboard. So we go to Jamboard. In order to actually have a worksheet that you created that you want the students to actually work and maybe annotate, maybe text over, you go to the set backgrounds and you can actually have different types of backgrounds, dots, lines, graphs, even change the color. What I'd like you to do is to click on image so we can incorporate the images that we've created. Click browse. And we will add in, first of all, the first Venn diagram. And then we'll go to the second frame to include the more challenging Venn diagram. OK, so you can set and share the link um, and you can actually direct your students to either try the easier comparison or take the challenge up. But if they they can just write their answers there or even text their responses. And that is how we can actually include differentiated background activities in Jamboard. Mm -hmm.